in this tutorial, we're going to briefly discuss uh, stacking. So first thing we can do is we will create a new project. It's going to be single view app and it's going to be called stacking tutorial. Um, make sure you use Swift as the language and Swift UI as the user interface. And I always leave all these checked. We'll continue to next. We'll add it to the desktop and we will get our interface. Um, or our coding area. So we can get working in here. So let's click resume so the canvas starts updating with us. And so the first things first is let's go ahead and let's just create, um, this is fine, so let, let's just create a text that has nothing in it. Uh, but the point is that we're going to modify its frame. So we're going to give it a width of 100. We're going to give it a height of 50. And that is all. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a background and the background is going to be the color, uh, we'll do the color green. Okay, and what we're going to do next is I'm going to give it an opacity of 0.3. Just something that makes it translucent. So one opacity of 1 is completely opaque, 0 is completely gone. So 0.3 is like 30% opaque. So we're going to roll with that for now. And what I want to do is I actually want to take this, I can, I can embed it in what we call a stack. So we have vertical stacks, horizontal stacks, and Z stacks. So V, H, and Z. So what that means is let's go ahead and start by just clicking command and click on the text and click v, embed in V stack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it one more time. And what you notice is that I vertically stacked two of them. So I have actually one, two. And to make that more evident, I'm going to make this one green, okay? So this is a V stack with a green on top of a red view. Now I can also make an H stack, also pretty intuitive. We have a green next to a red, okay? Um, this, you know, this is inherently already there. It's a spacing. We can get rid of that by writing spacing zero for H stack. Now the next and final kind of stack is a Z stack. So a Z stack is something that overlaps on top of each other. So now what we have is actually, sorry, some errors, I'm hit enter. we have essentially a stack where the green is behind the red. So you're looking at the addition of the green and the red together. Or another way you can make that evident is if I do, let's pretend I make this one blue. I have one blue one and on top of it, let's put a white one and I will uncomment it. Suddenly, let, let's make this point eight, so a little denser. So if it's just the one blue one, it's blue. But when I Z stack it or I stack it on top, we actually get we actually get a light blue. This right there. Does that make sense? And I think one of the best ways to understand it is just simply to look at this picture. So I'm gonna put this picture up here at the end, and you can take the time to look at it uh, as you see fit. So here we go. Layout foundation, you can just take a peek at this and you can see how these layers stack on top of each other. That is the Z dimension. And these pictures are from a tutorial that I will put as a link in the description below. And it was how we made a Spotify clone. So if that's something you're interested in, just follow that link and you can see how we use Z stacks, V stacks, and H stacks all together to create this clone. All right, see you in the next video.